OK, well, let's uh, deal with the big story of the day, which is there have been reports all day that 12 uh, of the major European clubs are looking uh, to form a breakaway European Super League. There had been reports that there would be statements either at half past nine or half past ten this evening. Those statements haven't come as yet. There'd be three Spanish teams involved, Barcelona, Real Madrid and Atletico, Juventus, AC Milan and Inter Milan from Italy and the so-called uh, top six, you might want to say <laughs> greedy six if you want at the moment, uh, with the badges uh, behind me. I think like everybody who's had their say on this today, fans, pundits, uh, ex-players, um, there's a sort of dismay and anger amongst all of us, isn't there? Yeah, frustrated, angry, uh, it's, it's about money. I've tried my hardest to think of another positive that this would create. It doesn't, doesn't help players. It doesn't help managers, coaches. It certainly doesn't help supporters. It's, it's, it's a nonsensical idea. It just shows that the owners of the big six clubs do not care about the supporters or the tradition or the history or the passion of the fans and the clubs and the cities that, that we know. There are, there are four fantastic divisions in our league that we've, what, over 100 years created this wonderful pyramid that we've got in our country we're proud of. I mean, that could capitulate overnight, couldn't it, if this was to happen? Dan, it... I, mean, I mean, clubs are struggling now. I mean, you know, forget the Premier League, forget that for now. The club, smaller clubs... I, you know, I started at Cambridge United. Clubs like that will not exist. Mm. If because the league... money trickles it down. Just, I think it's over £400 million pounds finds its way down to those clubs that need it more than the Premier League. The Premier League want more money. Those top, those top six clubs who have agreed to this want more money. I just think it's absolutely disgusting. And the fans, what are we missing right now? What do we want back? Fans. What is football nothing without the fans? <laughs> and they're not even thinking about the fans. Well, let's... Do, do you know, hang on, do you know the irony in disgusting. all of this? The irony in all of this. Take a look at that. That banner is on the Stretford end at United at the moment. Football is nothing without fans. Which came from Sir Matt Busby, who knew what football meant to the working man and woman who worked all week and needed entertainment at the weekend. And the owners of that club at the moment mm. are destroying the legacy of that man, that man that built that football club, by doing what they are proposed to be doing. They might, the owners might as well put up a banner that says football is nothing without a streaming platform in China, because that is kind of what they believe, as opposed to that. Well, I, I'm gobsmacked that the likes of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, Jurgen Klopp, Pep Guardiola know about this and, and haven't gone up against it, because they do understand supporters. I thought they did. So let's hope they do. But can I just add one thing from a player's perspective? And Dion and I were talk, uh, talking about mm. this. What player wants to play in a competition that's the same every year, a minimal amount of games, and be restricted so you can't play, maybe for your international team, you can't play in an FA Cup. I mean, I grew up wanting to win an FA Cup. League Cups, you're not going to win a Premier League because you won't be in it. Well, what I... player wants to be involved in a... Yeah, in a what are your of... challenges? Le 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 UEFA said that have, have issued this statement. UEFA and English and Spanish and Italian federations, the clubs concerned would be banned from playing in any other competition yep. at domestic, European or world level, and their players could be denied the opportunity to represent their national teams. So, you, you, you play for two of the clubs involved in this. You play for one of the clubs involved in it. If you're in that dressing room at the moment, are you going, we don't want any part of this? Me personally? Yeah. Yes. I am. As a player, yes. My country, playing for my country, you're saying I can't play for my country? And that's absolutely... Why should that be in your hands? You can't take away players' dreams. What, you know, what, that's not right. And you can't take away the supporters' choices. I mean, it's ridiculous. You're talking about playing the same fixtures every season. No relegation, no promote. Where, where's, the, where's the carrot? Where's the... You know, you, you want to be competitive. You want to get better than other teams. You want to be a small team. You want to be a little team sometimes that got like Leicester. Leicester went and won the league to then play in the Champions League. What are we saying? They're not allowed to play in the, against the big I boys. This, I, I honestly thought that football, right, was it's a working-class sport for working-class people that work really hard. But save, that feels like save, it's long but it does. Deal. It does. Save their money to go to watch a game. They want... They want the fans to spend more money and travel further. I think it, I know. I know that fans travel to European games. I know that, but I just think this is all about right. I don't care about anybody else about my pockets. Let's get some more money in there, and we'll be okay. Forget them. Forget the players. Forget the staff. Forget the fans. This is about me, who wants more money. I think it's bang out of order. I can't see it happening. 
Well, and that that is another point of view that this has been thrown out there As a... before announcements are made on Monday about yeah. how Champions League may be restructured and it might be just to but we've had false we've had the, these bluffs called before, before yeah. and they've come to an agreement. But again, it will be about money, won't it? About getting more money for the top clubs. I'm looking forward to the managers who understand the, the, the fans of these clubs coming out and speaking in the next few days. The statement has been released that says as follows, 12 of Europe's leading football clubs have come together to announce that they've agreed to establish a new midweek competition, the Super League, governed by its founding clubs. The 12 we mentioned earlier will be the founders and it's also anticipated, the statement says, that a further three clubs will join ahead of the inaugural season, which is intended to commence as soon as as practical. So, this competition format, according to this statement, there'll be 20 participating clubs with the 15 founding clubs and then a qualifying mechanism for a further five teams to qualify... So, five teams from across Europe to qualify annually based on achievements in the prior season. It will be midweek. It would start in August. There'd be two groups of ten playing home and away. And then the top three automatically qualify for the, qualify for the quarterfinals. Fourth and fifth teams would then be in a two-legged playoff for the remaining quarterfinal positions. Then there'd be a two-legged knockout system all the way uh, to the final. As soon as practical after the start of the men's competition, a corresponding women's league will also be launched, helping to advance and develop the women's game. Joel Glazer, uh, co-chairman of Manchester United and vice-chairman of the Super League, is quoted on this statement... He says, by bringing together the world's greatest clubs and players to play each other throughout the season, the Super League will open a new chapter for European football, ensuring world-class competition and facilities and increased financial support for the wider football pyramid. So every year, no matter where they finish, 15 teams will be guaranteed their place in this, leaving five places for everybody else. Soulless. It's, 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 it's beyond belief, actually, that, that they can think that they can put this idea forward and for it just to be brought in smoothly and everyone accept it. That's, that's just a complete lack of understanding of our game, mm. our traditions, what we love about football, what, what's in our hearts when we go and watch football and when we play the game. It's... It's the gra losing the it's grass scary, the game. The, the, you know, the scary. heart of the game, you know, just, just ripping it out of us and just, just stealing our game. I just think it's so... Out of order. Where, what conversations have they had? Have they had conversations with managers? Have they had conversations with players? No. Have they had a, a forum with the fans well, saying, we're thinking of doing this? Of course the they have The detail is somewhat irrelevant. If the Premier mm. League and the FA and UEFA and FIFA are saying, look, you're not going to play for your countries, you're not going to play in our league and you're not going to play in any other competitions, you're going to have a, a group of players who are going to be knocking on the managers and owners' door of the C at the chairmen's saying, what the hell is going on? Because what player is <coughs> going to not want to play for his country and play in all the other competitions? I don't know one. You is know it... what? So, sorry. No, go on, go on, go on. No, no, I, I, just, I just believe what, what they'll say is they'll go, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll give you more money. Players aren't all about money. No. They're not all about money. Don't think players just want to take as much money out of the game. They love this game. They love this league. They love this country. And why the hell would they want to do that? I just you, think it's terrible. You talk about talks. There's also in the statement, it says, going forward, the founding clubs look forward to holding discussions with UEFA and FIFA to work together in partnership. How, so they, how does that work? I have yeah. no idea how that works. Thanks for checking out the BBC Sport YouTube channel. Remember to give this video a like and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button so you never miss an upload. See you soon.